welcome back to The Big Wig. And with me today is yoga professional Sharon Merriman about how to incorporate yoga into your daily routines at home or in the workplace. In the workplace. Sharon, welcome along. Um, I know yoga is something as well that um, you can do in order to relax and get into the whole method of um, belief systems as well. Yes, um, I suppose people would um, really come into yoga from a physical point of view, yes. but um, after practice it really unites, I suppose, body, mind and spirit. So how did you get into yoga? Because it, it's something that you've been doing for a while, I think. Yes, um, I was interested in it. I went along to a class and it just started from there, really. Um, and as a result, my mother does it, my daughter does it. So it sort of, um, I think, naturally feeds out into the family because uh, it's... Some people have said that um, when they start doing exercises, including yoga, it's very therapeutic. It's something that it's sort of you can move away from the struggles of the real world and just sort of get into your own mindset. Yeah, well, the yoga that I, um, the organisation that I do yoga with is uh, called Yoga Therapy Ireland. So yeah, it's... Uh, very much coming from a therapeutic background where it should be accessible to everybody. So if you have disabilities, you'd be able to do it. They mod we modify poses and we do variations to suit people no matter where they're coming from, whether they're dealing with pain or, as I said, disabilities, or whether they're perfectly able-bodied. Fantastic. Now we're standing here on two mats yeah. um, and we're not doing it because we're not going to do something. So you're actually going to show me how to perform yeah. some of the basic levels. I just want to point out that I have absolutely no experience doing any sort of <laughs> yoga. So you're definitely dealing with a novice. So okay. some stretches of some sort, I think. Okay, well, we'll just start in what is um, the foundational standing pose, okay, which okay. is Tadasana or mountain pose. Okay. So we're going to just work um, with, in this particular instance, we're going to keep the feet hip distance apart. So you're going to measure that from the frontal hip bones here, which is where you bend okay. the hips, okay? You want yes. the knees tracking over the middle toes. You want to be able to see your big toe, okay? So feet are parallel. Great, All right. okay. So we're rooting down through the feet. The legs are active and engaged. Our pelvis is in neutral. Our spine is long. Okay. So the body should be just completely relaxed at this point? Well, not relaxed uh, in the sense that it's doing nothing. Your legs are active, you are grounded, and okay. you are um, standing strong. Okay? okay. So from here, we're going to step the feet four, four and a half feet apart. Okay? okay. And we're going to take the front foot and turn it to 90 degrees to the short end of the mat. Yes. And we're going to turn the back foot in 45 degrees. So what you're looking for, the alignment here is uh, front heel in line with back arch, okay? I think I'm doing it right. Yeah, you're Near fine. Enough. Near enough. Yeah. When we're going to bend the front leg, and it's really important that we keep the knee over the ankle, okay? That creates a strong pillar of strength. If you overshoot the ankle, the knee's unstable. Okay, right. so we're going to just do that. And what you want is to track the knee towards the little toe side. Okay. Okay, that stops it from splaying in. Okay, so from here, we're going to take our hands onto the rib cage and we're going to turn the torso towards the long end of the mat. Okay, okay. we're then going to float the arms up. And at this point, it's very, it's, it's important to keep the knee straight because you were Absolutely. saying... Absolutely, it's, it's a you safety. You were saying before that the knee is actually a very, very delicate part of the body. Yeah, it's a very unstable joint. Mm. And if you have, um, it's the difference between a strong pillar of support and the sort of leaning therapies effect. Okay. You know, it's not strong. Okay, so from here, then you're going to turn the head and neck last and look out over the fingers, okay? okay. So there's no forward momentum. The torso is upright and you're looking to come down through the hips, okay? Okay. We're going to bend the front elbow and take it onto the knee and we're going to take this arm up, okay? And this is actually a basic move you're suggesting? It's, it can be modified okay. if there's any issues with the shoulders or mm. the arms, you take the hand to the hip, okay? So it can be whatever it needs to be depending on the practitioner. And at this okay. point you should be feeling, I can certainly feel um, stretches happening right here. Yeah. With standing poses really you're working the entire body. Right, okay. okay. So from here, if your arm is up like this, 
Okay, we're going to windmill down, we're going to come out to a straight front leg and we're going to take the arms up again. And we're coming into Trikonasana. Okay. Trikonasana. Trikonasana. So there's lot, yeah, that's, another, that's another thing about yoga I've noticed. There's lots of <laughs> Latin terms, it seems. Sa there's Sanskrit words. Okay. okay. I'm going to take the top arm down and this one comes up. Okay. And you're breathing at all times. Okay. So what you not can do is... Not necessarily deep breaths, but just make sure you breathe. No, just everyday breaths. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And breathe in, come back up. Okay. And we're going to parallel the feet, take the hands to the hips. We're going to fold forward. You can take the hands to the floor. That is definitely a more difficult one. Okay. Well, what we would do in the classroom is we would have props. So we would have blocks and bricks fantastic. that you can take that raise the floor. Okay. So just heel toe the feet together. That's fantastic. I mean, you actually would learn a lot from this type of thing. It's absolutely fantastic. For the time being, though, okay. we're going to be back right after the break with a music act. <laughs> 